trail. <laughs> Come on. Right. right. I had a few meditations. The last slogan he brought, it was a raining, and he was, had hurt his leg, and I went out to the truck, and I looked at him, and I just broke down and squalled, and my granddaughter was with me, and she called, Mama, what in the world? I said, baby, it's okay. I'm just sick. She said, sick? I said, no, sick of junk. Come on. Come on. Sick of junk. We need to get sick of the junk. with them. 
That's what he said he would do. We are his temple. And if we are his temple and we get the junk out, then he's going to walk with us. Come on, praise God. He's walk in them and I will be their God. And they shall be my people. So what do we want? Are we satisfied with the way things have got? Come on. Are we satisfied with the junk? Yeah, yeah. We have allowed ourselves to be a garbage dump. Come on. Come on. He said tonight in some, I'm going to lay these what? Burdens down. I'm going to lay these burdens down. You and I both get so packed down with burdens that we can't fill it up if it was wrapped up on top of us. Come on. Come on. Don't care if you don't. I lay, uh, if I'm not careful, I'll worry about the oldest daughter. Then I'll worry about the baby. Then I'll worry about, everybody knows who my baby is, Belinda. We get it all. Where's our faith? Where is our faith? I was a flumping through my Bible tonight looking at different scriptures and right up above it I wrote, where is my faith? Come on. Right. I did. And undoubtedly I was reading in that passage and I was burned down and I, I was asking God to heal this one or to save that one and right up above it I wrote, where is your faith? And then I said, Lord, Give me more faith. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <clears throat> what is yeah. my cup of, What's that got to do with being the temple of God? And my house down there, we've got the wrong things in our lives. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Yeah. We let the mice, the rats come in and build a nest and have babies, and we're just blind to it. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Up there it's uh where I just left and we went into your tent room taking everything down and I knew there was a place up there that had rotted and it was hanging down because I kept the thing and catch the water. But you know what I found? A snake skin. Where there's a snake skin, there was a snake. <laughs> Come on. And one of our members, she seen it, and I said, please don't tell Brother Jerry that's the one that was moving in, because he's scarier than I am of them. And she didn't, she didn't wait till she told him. And all he could think was, fix that hole, fix that hole, fix that hole. Well, honey, we got a lot of holes we need to Come on. Come on. Because what does the, the uh, snake represent? Yeah. The devil. The devil. What was in the Garden of Eden? Right. A snake. Right. Come on. Right. And we let everything just like yeah. I had allowed things into yeah. my home that I'm going to have to live in right. now. Yeah. We had mildew in it. We had enough dust. We want to talk about that. But we got dust in our spirit. Come on. We are the what? The temple, the temple of the Lord God. Right. We've got a responsibility. And he said, if we don't take that responsibility, then he's going to do, let bad things happen to us. Come on. He wants to walk with us, talk with us, and be our God. Oh, praise God. He had therefore thus promised, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness, of the flesh and spirit perfecting holiness. Yeah. Oh, that's a word people don't want to hear today. But if we don't, he said, unless we have holiness, unless we've got a holy God in us and we are willing to live holy, we're not going to make it. And the fear of God. And people have said, well, I'm not going to serve a God that I have to fear. Honey, that's what's wrong with the We are not yeah. praying now. Come on. And we've let the devil destroy what we once had. Come on. Thank God that Bethel still lets God visit them and walk in the house. But be careful, honey. He is after the very last. Yes, he is. If they're already leaving for the devil, he's not after them. 